All right, this is the first part of a four-part series on weak acid and strong base titrations. Basically, what we're going to be doing is titrating um, a weak acid down here with a strong base. We're going to be adding the strong base to our weak acid. So, first of all, we want to find the pH before the experiment. Um, so we want to say that's before we've added any NOH. So that means we're just going to be finding the pH of our acetic acid here that's in the beaker. So to do that, we know that it's an aqueous solution. So we have in our beaker, we have uh, our acetic acid, CH3COOH. And there's also going to be water. We'll have H2O. All right, and this is going to be coming. Um, this is actually an equilibrium equation. Um, so we'll be getting the conjugate base here, which is CH3COO minus, and it's going to be giving an extra hydrogen here to the water. So we'll have plus H3O positive. Awesome. So what we want to do now is we want to make our table here with initial uh, change and equilibrium concentrations. And we can fill this out. We know that acetic here is 0 0.2 molar to begin with. 0 0.2 molar. Uh, we're not considering water because it's a pure liquid. And here we're starting with nothing and we're starting with nothing. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to minus some amount because it's all one to one ratios here and we're going to be adding some amount of products. Okay, and so now for our equilibrium concentration, we know this is going to be um, 0 0.2 minus x molar. This will be x molar and this will be x molar. All right, so now something else we can do now is because we know that the Ka of acetic acid, here we'll write it here, Ka is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Right, this is just a known textbook value. Um, and because this is several orders of magnitude smaller than our molarity here, we know that we can say that 0 0.2 here in this case um, we can say that 0 0.2 minus x like that is more or less equal to 0 0.2. And so that's just fine. Um, for our purposes, we can just make that assumption because the order of magnitude here is so much smaller. All right, so with that said, we know that um, we know that our Ka, which was equal to 1.8, 1 times 10 to the negative 5, just like that, is equal to the concentrations of products over concentrations of reactants. So we can just write here, um, well, we can just write it like this, A times H3O plus over concentration of our weak acid, which was H A, right? Just some shorthand here. Um, so long story short is we can say this will be X times X which is x squared over the concentration of our reactants, which here we said 0 0.2 minus x is pretty much 0 0.2, so that's good enough for us. All right, we multiply 0 0.2 times 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, take the square root. Um, if we do that in our calculator, we're going to find that x is going to be equal to, what's that? It is 0 0.00 like that. Um, let's put a few points here, 1, 8, 9, 7. Awesome. So now what we can do is we can find our pH. We know that pH is equal to the negative log of our concentration of hydronium, H3O+. plus. Right. So if we fill that in, we'll get the negative log of this value here because x molar, right, this was x. Um, I guess we could, yeah. Um, we could put an M there for molar if we want. Anyways, though, we can plug this in as our concentration of H3O+. Plus, so we'll have 0 0.001897. There we go. And we're going to find out when we do this, uh, punch this in our calculator. And we're going to get the negative log of this value here is going to be about 2.7. Two. And that's the pH of just our acetic acid in our beaker before we've edited any NOH. So we'll see you in the next video and we'll find the pH before we reach the equivalence point.